We're located in Green Acres Park, um, just located off of Russell Cave, Russell Cave Road and LaSalle Road, and Hollow Creek Road to LaSalle. This was a project, it's, uh, it's a grant uh, supported or funded by the Kentucky Legislature, part of a grant that we obtained through the help of Representative Crenshaw. Um, the total, total grant amount was $2.6 million and it is to take care of problems, the drainage problems with flooding, uh, water quality, trash that's in the streams back down through here that drains this part of the Cane Run watershed and take care of a lot of, the, a lot of these stormwater type issues in this neighborhood. Behind me is a what we call a water quality device, treatment device. Um, it was put in to, to help filter the stormwater. It captures trash, debris, pollutants. Um, anything that's on the streets washes down through the storm sewer. It helps filter it out. This one is a, a Sun Tree Technologies nutrient separating baffle box. Um, there's some information about that name, the separating kind of, it, it keeps the trash and floatable debris up out of the the water that's down the bottom and the baffles and keeps it from stagnating down in there and, and causing more pollutants and debris and that out of the out of our streams. We will this this is this project is on a list with a lot of other water quality devices we have around town and we come by and check it on a periodic basis and after when it becomes when it becomes full or, or probably at least twice a year we'll come out here the division of water quality will come out with a large uh, pumper truck and they'll pull through the gates onto a pad that we've created here and they'll use it to suck out the big the floatable debris out of the big basket first and then they'll raise that up and they'll suck all the all the water and pollutants that have settled down in the bottom out of there and we anticipate that it'll it'll need to be treated uh, twice a year that's what's recommended but uh, we'll see by observation what's what's really necessary as time goes by one part of this project, when we were when we were looking at how we were going to maintain it, um, we realized we needed a driveway to go back. So instead of putting a large concrete pad in there, um, we looked at another means. Since it was inside a park and it was grass already, we put down a material called drivable grass, which is a um, geogrid hard plastic membrane that sits over top of layers of rock and different size rock and then you put uh, soil on top and you can plant it and as you see the, the grass grows right through and it's designed to support the load of the trucks, the heavy vehicles that we're going to have. We actually have two sites here. If you can see at the end of the park there's, a, there's another street coming down, Kirk Court and, and then this area here. These two areas were selected because they have large, large pipes coming in, 48 inch pipes and by doing these two locations, we were able to treat a large majority of the subdivision, over about 25 inlets, catch basin inlets, and a lot of other offsite drainage area that comes through here. So these were the, the best bang for the buck in, as far as location goes.